Hi, this is D.A. Wagner, and I'm going to take the next few moments to show you how to get professional results out of the Lightroom CC radial filter tool for making portraits look better. I've got a camera raw photo here that I've already developed that has everything I like. Rich tones, a nice background bokeh, except I don't have enough light on my subject's face. I could further lighten the photo with the shadow slider in the basic panel. But as you can see, I'm losing the dramatic quality of this scene by lightening the whole picture. So, instead of lightening up everything, here's my next step. This is the radial filter. Don't get it mixed up with the spot removal tool here with the arrow. The radial filter is a plain circle. And when you select it, a totally new menu of options drops down. And this looks very different from the basic panel options. Here, let me do that again. This is the basic panel and when the radial filter is selected, the basic panel slides down as the radial filter opens. Now, my preferred method is to start with no effect settings. And that means setting whatever slider settings I have to zero. And so the easiest way to zero all these settings at once, double click on the word effect here on the top of my options. This will always return every setting in the radial filter to zero which means there will be no effect applied to my image until I start adjusting the radial sliders. When using the radial filter, you'll be drawing circles or ellipses, and we want to make sure the changes we make are going to be inside and not outside. So the next thing I'm going to do is check the invert mask checkbox. Again, checking invert mask means when we make our slider adjustments, those changes will appear inside the circle. And please note that the default 50% feather is pretty much a setting that I never need to change. Okay, now that I've zeroed out my settings and have checked the invert mask checkbox, I'm ready to draw a radial over my subject's face. Hover the cursor over the center of the face. Then click and drag down and to the right or to the left and draw the circle big and loose. The radial filter is very forgiving. So there's no reason to try and fit the circle tightly. And let's adjust the position so it's centered over the face. And now I'm going to open up the shadows here using the shadow slider and just enough to add some light to my subject's face. And just like that, I have an instant spot of light just where I want it. This is a very effective method of lightening up just the area in a photograph that needs light while keeping the rest of the photograph rich and saturated. I find the radial filter incredibly useful for all kinds of situations and portraits is just one of them. This technique can also be used with the gradient and the adjustment brush. So don't hesitate to give them a try as well. And this is Lightroom Guy, D.A. Wagner. Thanks for watching.